League's own Little Mermaid. Will Disney strike me for this? Anyways, to counter her, pick someone like Tinkerbell, uh, I mean Lulu, since with her constant poke, she'll be able to get Nami out of mana because she'll be perma-healing herself or her AD carry. Blitzcrank for an immobile squishy champion will always do the trick. And Leona, who can engage and stop her from doing anything for the longest time, is also pretty great. Sona, if she manages to dodge the bubble, can poke extremely hard. Morgana for her spell shield. And Alistar for his really strong engage potential and CC denial ultimate make other good counters as well. Nami's passive makes her allies gain extra movement speed whenever they get hit by any of her abilities. Her Q will make her throw a bubble in a target direction that will suspend enemies in the air for 1.5 seconds. Her W is a point click ability that heals allies and deals damage to enemies. It can bounce twice to nearby targets after the first one. Her E will bless herself or allies and make their next three basic attacks slow the enemies they strike for one second. Finally, her ultimate will make her fire a huge tidal wave that knocks enemies up for 0.5 seconds and also slows them based on the distance traveled by the wave. In lane, her poke becomes quite annoying and if she hits you with a bubble, you might as well say bye bye to your life. Dodge this at any cost. As for spells, you will usually see her play Ignite, but Exhaust might also be a possibility. You, on the other hand, if you're playing support, might also want to take Ignite to inflict grievous wounds and prevent her from healing as much. In terms of power spikes, she has the prettiest strong level 1 and also level 2 with just her bubble and poke. Like most supports, she's viable all throughout the game because of her utility, but is undoubtedly stronger in the laning phase of the game. Her extreme squishiness and low mobility makes her quite the easy target. She'll go for Arden first item to help out her AD carry and skirmishes, and she'll also buy a redemption to aid with her healing role. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, don't get hit by her ultimate or bubble since they're both easy to dodge. She's very squishy, especially in the mid to late game, so CC her and be done with it. And also notice the little aqua balls around her or her ADC because they'll be slowing you with their autos and looking for engages. Ultimately, have fun doing it.